Good day, my OMTQM students, and welcome to the second part of Activity 2 video, which is the discussion for environment of uncertainty, the class criteria, which is the minimax regret criterion. So although this part of Activity 2 will not be recorded, you have to follow my instructions. You still have to get your paper and pen with you in order for you to know how to decide under the Minimax Regret Criterion. We will be using the same table, Lucas Company, for our Minimax Regret discussion. So under Minimax Regret, what we're going to do is to compute first for the regret because we have to determine the worst regret for each alternative and choose the alternative with the best worst. So under Minimax Regret, what we are computing are the amount that we are supposed to have or we are supposed to earn and that represents our regret, that represents our opportunity cost, or that represents our benefits foregone. So the same table that we had used for video 1 of activity 2, so we still have the different alternatives here, small, medium, and large size facility. The first thing you have to do under Minimax Regret Criterion is to create a regret table. The regret table looks like a payoff table. It has the presence of the different alternatives, the possible future demand, but what we're going to have on the following columns are not the payoff values, but instead what we're going to have here are the regret amounts that we're going to compute. So make sure that you have with you the copy of the payoff table and you have now your regret table. So we will be completing now the regret table. To construct our regret table, we have to go back to our original payoff table because we have to look at the highest value under each possible future demand. So under the column low, you have to determine which among these three, 10, 7, and negative 4 is the highest. So obviously, 10 is the highest, so mark it down. Then under moderate, we have 10. 12 and 2 you have to determine the highest among these three and obviously it is 12 and then last column for high demand we have 10 million 12 million and 16 million income the highest is 16 million so again so you have to determine the highest amount on our payoff table under each possible future demand so we have under low 10 moderate 12 and then high is 16. Then, to complete step one of Minimax Regret Criterion, we're going to assign zero to the highest payoff under each possible state of nature or possible future demand. So again, under low, the highest is 10 million. So we're going to assign zero on 10 million pesos so under small size facility then for moderate the highest is 12 million so we're going to assign zero on it and that corresponds to medium size facility and then lastly for column high for demand in case demand will become high the highest amount is 16 million pesos and that corresponds to large size facility so that is how you complete step one so again previously we had chosen the highest payoff under each possible future demand and we assign zero on it step two you write the highest payoff on each possible demand or states of nature so under low the highest amount that we had chosen based on step number one is 10 so you'll write down 10 10 and 10 here and then moderate the highest amount is 12 so you write down 12 12 and 12 and then high the highest amount is 16 16 and 16 so based on step number 
1, we had assigned 0 to the highest amount. And then now, we're going to write down the highest amount under each possible demand. The next step is that you have to look at the original payoff table and subtract the amount of payoff from the highest payoff. So again, under small size facility, the highest that we have chosen is 10. So that's why we write down 10, 10, and 10. Then based on the original table, the amount of payoff that corresponds to low under small size facility is 10. So write down 10. Then under medium, it's 7. And under large size facility, it's negative 4. Then afterwards, you have to subtract the payoff based on the original table from the highest payoff. And that is really the reason why we have we assigned zero here on the low column that corresponds to small size facility because getting the difference between the highest payoff and the amount of payoff that corresponds to that uh, possible future demand, 10 minus 10 is equal to zero. Then you do the same with medium, we have 3. And then for large size facility, we have here negative 14. So for moderate, we're going to do the same. We have the highest amount, which is 12, 12 and 12. And then we're going to subtract the payoff looking at the original table from 12. Your table would appear this way. So after getting the difference under low column and moderate column. So again, 10, 10, 10 here, 12, 12, 12 here are the highest amount under low and moderate. Then we have here 10, 7, and negative 4. We derive it from the original payoff table. 10, 12, and 2, it came from the original table as well. And we're going to finish the last column, 16, 16, 16. It represents the highest amount that we had chosen uh, previously. And we will subtract the payoff that corresponds to high. Do it now. This is how your regret table will look like after completing the high column. So again, 10, 12, and 16 are the highest figure under low, moderate, and high. Then for high column, looking at the original payoff table, we have the payoff amount of 10 million, 12 million, and 16 million. So we subtract them from the highest payoff. So that's why we have 6 million, 4 million, and 0 here. So that is the reason also why based on step 1, we assign 0 under low, small size facility, moderate 0, medium size facility, and high 0 under large size facility because those are the highest payoff. So that's why when you subtract them, we will arrive at 0. So this zero, zero, and zero here represents zero amount of regret or nothing to regret about. So that means if you had decided to construct a small size facility and demand became low, there will be no regret. The same here under moderate, if you constructed a medium size facility and demand will become moderate, you have nothing to regret with. So the same with high, since in large size facility, the highest amount is 16, and you constructed a large size facility, so that means you have nothing to regret with. So the amount that we have here, yung mga naka-red na to, yung mga difference na yan, that represents our regret amount. So that's why we call it as the regret table coming from our payoff table. So these are the amounts of regret. So, ito yung mga nawala sa atin or panghihinayangan natin in case we had chosen another alternative. So, just like in this case, if demand will become high and you had chosen to construct a small size facility, 
So it is understandable that based on the pay of table, you have an income of 10 million pesos. But 10 million is not the highest amount, but rather the highest amount is 16 million for the column high. So that means you have a regret of 6 million. So that 6 million means that is supposed to be yours if you constructed a large size facility. So that's your opportunity cost or that is the those uh, that will be your benefits for gun. So this amount in red again represents the amount of your regret. So looking at here the medium size facility we have here three. So the highest amount under low column is 10, but you can't able to have it in case you constructed a medium size facility. Because if you constructed a medium size facility, what you're going to have is only 7 million pesos. So that's why you have a regret of 3 million pesos. So the same here under moderate, the highest amount is 12 and that corresponds to large size facility. So in case demand would become uh, moderate, you will just have 2 million pesos with you. So 2 million pesos is positive, that's an income, but that is not the highest amount. So that's why you have a regret of 10 million pesos. So you're going to think of it na uh, dapat I have 12 million pesos with me, but I just have 2 million pesos with me. So that's why I have a regret of 10 million pesos. So the same here. So, if you constructed a medium-sized facility and demand will become high, yes, you have 12 million pesos with you. Looking at the payoff table, you have 12 million pesos income, but that is not the highest amount, diba? Kasi sa business, kung gusto natin mas mataas pa na profit, mas mataas pa na income, it's better for us. So, instead of having 16 million, you just have 12 million with you. That's why you have a regret of 4 million pesos. So, looking at this one, no, ang laki ng regret natin under low column and large size facility, 14 million pesos. So, the total amount of regret is very high because if you constructed a large size facility and demand will become low, you will have a loss of 4 million. At hindi lang yun ang magiging regret mo. Nagka-loss ka na ng 4 million Hindi ka pa kumita ng 10 million. So, that's why you have a total regret of 14 million pesos. Next step after getting the amount of regret under each alternative is to determine the highest regret under each alternative. So, under small, we have 0, 2, and 6. The highest regret is 6. Write it down here. Then medium, we have 3, 0, and 4. The highest amount of regret is 4. And then large size facility, 14, 10, and 0. We have 14. So these are the worst amount of regret. So the worst amount of regret is represented by the highest amount of regret. Kasi syempre, yun yung worst na pwedeng mangyari sa atin, diba? Yung marami or malaki yung pwede nating panghinayangan or mawala sa atin. So, after choosing the highest regret, we have to choose the best words. And when we talk about regrets, so syempre, kung may mawawala sa atin, kung meron tayong panghihinayangan, ang gusto natin, mawalan tayo or may panghinayangan tayo ng konti lang or ng mas mababang amount. So, that's why, based on the highest regret here that we had chosen, 6, 4, and 14, the lowest amount of regret is 4. And that corresponds to medium size facility. So that will be our final decision. So if you're going to make our regret table clear, so these are the amount of regrets that we had computed. And then this amount of regret, 6, 4, and 14. And then the best words is represented by the lowest amount of regret. And that corresponds to medium size facility. So for our final decision, we will be constructing a medium size facility. So that ends our discussion for Minimax Regret. For your practice exercises, so use again Expando Manufacturing Company to use
is the minimax regret criterion. So that ends our video for minimax regret criterion. See you on our online class and make sure that you practice answering our exercise.